Hi, I'm Wayne Bridge, ex-professional footballer, and I pass the SAS Who Dares Wins course. And this is how I build my body. This is my go-to workout when I want to hit my legs and my upper body. First exercise is the one-legged squat. I like to work each leg rather than work them both together just because I've got one leg longer than the other. This is going to hit the glute and the quad, a little bit of hamstrings, mainly the glute though. Balance as well, going to work your ankles and your core. Nice and controlled, slowly down. As soon as your bum touches, power up through. With this exercise, I would aim for 10 to 12 reps on each leg. So if you're stronger, add some dumbbells or just do some more reps. If you can go lower than what I'm going, do do it. Into the shoulder press, hit these. You're gonna get into an upside down V. You're gonna control on the way down, touch head on the floor, power back up. Go for about 10 to 12 reps or more if you're stronger. Next set of exercises. First of all, we're gonna hit the backward lunge. Different from the front lunge, you can hit your glute and more of your quad. Um, I'm gonna add some weight to this, but depending on your ability, you can do it with no weights. You're gonna step backwards. Don't let that knee go too far over the foot. Again, it's a balance exercise. Step back, let that knee touch the floor, power up. Powering up through that glute. Gonna go for 10 to 12 reps. Sometimes I do more depending on the weight. So what weights you have at home or if you're at the gym. Here we go. Slowly down, power up. Nice control down, power up. No rest, we're gonna go straight into some upper body. You're gonna hit the triceps, hit the shoulders already. Need a bench or a chair or anything you can find. To make this exercise easier, you can bring your legs in towards you. Don't let your elbows flare out. Keep them tucked in. Nice controlled on the way down. Power up. Have a little tense at the top, feel it in the tricep. Done the backward lunge. We're gonna go on to the front lunge, which is gonna hit, obviously, the glute again, but a bit more on the quad. Nice and strong throughout and controlled. Work on that balance and stability. When you step forward, nice control, touch that knee on the floor and power back. 15 to 20 reps with a 12.5 kilos. Up the weight, lower my reps. Next up, press ups. Hit the shoulders, triceps, a bit of the chest and the arms now. Three different types, gonna start off narrow, Little bit wider, little bit wider again. Control down, hands off at the bottom so there's no cheating on reps. Power up, squeeze your arms and your chest, and then lower down, nice controlled, hands off again. You've hit the upper part of the legs, you're gonna hit the lower part. Calves, very important, everyday life. Walking, running, don't neglect them. Less fingers you use, you just use it for balance, don't let it take weight off of your leg. Keep on the inside and ball of your foot, don't let it rotate outwards. Go down as far as you can, up to the top and squeeze. Nice control down, as much range as possible, back up to the top. This one can be quite difficult if you're not used to doing it, so don't overdo the reps. But you want to work up to 20 reps on each side if you can. Up next, abs. You've used your core for a lot of these exercises. There's so many you can do. This is my go-to. I'm gonna use the lower part and the upper part. Nice, simple crunch. So when you're down, keep your back flat against the floor, hands behind your ears or head, and you're gonna bring your upper body and your lower body up together. On the way up, you want to breathe out and squeeze your stomach together. Right, you can use this workout as one long circuit, or what I prefer to do is superset of a leg and an upper body. You want to do three to five rounds, and this is how I built my body.